Hope you're having a lovely day and you're searching for another recipe. This is the majestic cupcakery. New technique alert. Let me show you how I created this stone effect buttercream. So I started off with three 5 inch cake layers. I filled them with some vanilla buttercream and just spread that out. I stacked them up with a decent amount of buttercream because one, who doesn't love buttercream and two, it adds extra height to your cake. I then just did a quick crumb coat around to set in those crumbs. This doesn't have to be too neat, it will all get covered. Once this is done you just need to pop it in the freezer for 10 minutes to firm up. Once out you just want to measure the height of your cake along with the circumference. You can guess the circumference by wrapping the piece of greaseproof paper you will be using around your cake allowing an extra 1 to 2 inches so when the buttercream is applied it's not too small. I'm starting off with a piping bag of a cream colour fitted with a number 2 nozzle. You want it to be quite thin. I use sugar flare caramel ivory to get the stone colour. Using the piece of greaseproof you have cut to size you want to add stripes along it leaving gaps for more colour. You don't need to be too neat with this Actually, the less neat and wobbly you are, the better effect you will get. You can create some thicker lines, some thinner lines, whatever you wish, each cake is unique. Using the same piping bag, I have darkened the shade using the same colour to pipe more lines. You want to fill in more gaps. Keep darkening the shade and filling in the gaps until it's all complete. You want it to be about 1cm thick. It will look a real mess at this point but you'll be surprised later. Once it's done you can go ahead and get your cake ready. I wrapped the sheet around the cake making sure I was being light. I then pressed it down a little to smooth and stick it to the cake. Place this back in the freezer for about 20 minutes. After this it should be set and should peel away from the paper. It's so satisfying to watch and gives it this real interesting effect. Just look at all those different layers. To finish you can take a hot scraper to even out any bumps and smooth it out a little. And there you go, that's my new effect for you. Go ahead and check out some of my other videos for more inspirations. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye!